you know, development and land use is so important to protecting and preserving the city we love, but also growing the city. And I am enthusiastic about the growth. Um, but it is so important to have the growth happen where we want it to be and keep it away from where we don't want it to be. Um, and I believe we need a mayor who is willing to stand up and has the backbone to say no to developers if they're proposing projects that would be bad for our city. Um, on the other hand, I will be excited to work with developers and work with them to move their projects forward if they're good for the city. So my uh, frame of reference will always be um, making sure that the growth is a positive thing for our city and contributes to our city and doesn't take away from the city that we love. You know, just, just one uh, other piece of um, sort of the implementation of uh, my thoughts and vision as it relates to land use. Um, the Century 5 city plan, um, you know, it's, it's a very impressive process and it's a very impressive and comprehensive document. Um, it, as you know, is, is, uh, is looked at and uh, updated every 10 years. I think every 10 years, given our growth, is too long. So what I um, would do as mayor is make it every five years and in the first six months of office um, would work through the process to get it up to date because I think it is very important for us, for the citizens, the business community to understand, okay, what's our game plan? What are the rules? Because I don't think it's a good idea to change the rules midstream. And we have some zoning issues, and the Sergeant Jasper is one of them. I think the current plan, well now there really isn't a current plan, but the, the plans so far submitted have not been good for the city. But I do think it is a bad practice for the city to change the zoning rules. You know, in the we should have changed the zone. We should have cleaned that up beforehand. So to say, oh well, sorry, it's an oversight. Well, I don't feel strongly enough to let the project go to be bad for the city. But I do acknowledge that is a mistake, and so that's one reason why I feel like we need to use the Century Five plan, get it up to date, get all the citizens behind it. Okay, I may not get everything I want, but we're together on this. This is our plan, and these are the rules, and let's keep them. So that is will be very important to the implementation, particularly as it relates to land use, but as you know, the plan um, deals with many other things, cultural assets, et cetera. But it's, it's a great instrument. It just needs to be updated. The, the part of my vision, which I think is so important, and I think such a big part of why people love, we love living here, and I think people want to visit here, is that we're diverse and we're interesting. And I think that density is a key to that um, because it will um, provide more affordable housing. So, you know, the more supply and demand, right? I mean, if, if, if we have more density, there'll be more living units, so the price will come down, not just for rent, but for uh, buying, and that will help make our city more diverse. Um, but also, it gives people different options. I mean, some people would love to live in uh, James Island or Johns Island in a rural area, whatever, but some people want to live in an urban area in um, a very dense development. And I think it's important for our city to make sure that not only do we have affordable options, but also um, options for everybody's taste. And uh, density is a very important part of that. I just think we need to be very careful about where we put the density, and we need to be very careful about when and how we go about the density and make sure that the infrastructure is in place to support the project before it starts coming out of the ground and people are like, oh my god, what is this? And it's just going to clog up traffic even more so. So we need to make sure we do it carefully.
You know, as mayor, I will be very uh, deeply involved with um, land use and development because it's, it's, it's critically important to my vision for the city, and I think it's a shared vision, um, that we be beautiful and interesting and that we protect our waterways and you know all of those things. So there's nothing really more I mean, I would submit education is, you know, another huge priority, but um, the development and growth is something that can either um, help us be a greater city or move us backwards. So it, I will be very involved in it. In terms of um, sustainable um, parts of developments, you know, I, I think that we really want to, to be looking the future using technologies and practices that are that are now and that are sustainable. I think trying to just go for the cheap is, you know, we all know that in our lives, you know, you, you get what you pay. So it's something may seem like, you know, an example, asphalt. Well, that may seem like a really cheap idea. Okay, well, it might be a cheap idea, but it would be better to invest in and um, make sure that developers are using uh, pervious materials so that um, in the long run it ends up being uh, less costly in terms of the environment and less costly in terms of money. So I think it's just a winning strategy to make sure that as we move forward we're um, doing, using sustainable practices that are going to benefit the community. I am and have been, um, since its early days, a huge enthusiastic supporter of then Horizon Project, now West Edge. Um, I think it's an example of a great location for density and mixed use. Um, that said, I have some problems with the current project. Specifically, I think we need to protect Gadsden Creek. I mean, why would we? cement over one of the few tidal creeks in the city. So that's one. Um, secondly, you know, we, the current project seems to just not be paying attention to best practices in terms of the design of the streets. It doesn't integrate and connect with the existing neighborhood. So that to me is uh, something that needs to be fixed. And the other is the connection between West Edge and the Medical University. Um, you know, this idea of a flyover, it's sort of like, well, we already made that mistake just, you know, a half a mile down across town. Why would we do that? So I think that we really, those are three things that I think we need to think through and continue to think through and engage the, the community in making sure that West Edge becomes um, really a positive project.